Hello, I am Dr. E. Srinivasa, working as an assistant professor in physics in IDSG Government College, Chikmaglu. In this video, I am going to explain some more problems on the chapter particle accelerators, which is a chapter for 3rd BSc physics students studying in 6th sem for paper 8, nuclear and particle physics. Subject code SSF 611 and this is the video for session number 18. So in this video, let us discuss some more problems on particle accelerators. In the last video, I have discussed about 5 problems. We will start from the 6th problem in this video. A cyclotron D is of radius 0.4 meter having magnetic field 1.5 Weber per meter square, calculate the maximum energies to which the protons can be accelerated. We have to calculate maximum energy. Given mass of the proton equals 1.6 into 10 power minus 27 kg. Given. So radius of the D is 0.4 meter. Magnetic field is 1.4 Weber per meter square. Mass of the proton 1.6 in 10, 6 7 into 10 power minus 27 kg. So the expression for maximum energy of the proton is given by E is equal to B square Q square R square over 2m. So value of B is 1.5, value of Q is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19, value of the radius is 0.4, 2 mass of the proton is 1.67 into 10 power minus 27, substitute all the values and after simplification we will get the value of maximum energy as 2.759 into 10 to the power of minus 12 joule. So the value of the maximum energy so solved from this problem is 2.759 into 10 power minus 12 joule. You can also convert this joule into electron volt also by dividing this by 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb because 1 joule is equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus sorry 1 EV is equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joule. So the value of energy in electron volt is 17.24 MeV. Let us discuss the problem number 7. Between the D's of the cyclotron 1.5 meter in diameter an alternating potential difference of 15 megahertz is applied. Calculate the energy in MeV of the protons issuing out of the cyclotron. Mass of the proton equals 1.672 into 10 power minus 27 kg. Solution given. So diameter is given. We have to calculate the radius of the D's. So R is equal to D by T. 2. So that is equal to 1.5 by 2 is equal to this is 0.75 not 0.5 this is the 0.75 and frequency is uh, 15 megahertz 15 into 10 power 6 hertz and m is equal to 1.67 into 10 power minus 27 kg. So in terms of the frequency and radius of the cyclotron D's expression for energy of the deuteron is given by E is equal to 2 pi square F square R square M. So E is equal to 2 pi value F value and radius make a correction here please this is 0.75 not 0.5 7 is missed here and this is the value of mass and convert it into electron volt by dividing 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 directly we get the energy value in terms of electron volt as 26.11 MeV problem number 8 a cyclotron accelerates protons to 3 MeV. To what energy will the cyclotron accelerate? A. Alpha particle. B. Deuteran. Given mass of alpha particle is equal to 6.64832 into 10 power minus 27 kg. Mass of deuteran equals 3.3452 into 10 power minus 27 kg. And mass of proton is 1.67 into 10 power minus 27 kg. Solution. We know that 
expression for energy of the proton is E is equal to B square Q square R square by 2M. Here are only variable things are charge and mass. All others are constant. Therefore, E is proportional to Q square by M. E is proportional to Q square by M. Hence, energy of the alpha particles can be written as Q alpha square over M alpha and energy of the proton is given by Ep is equal to Qp square by Mp. If we divide these two equation, we get E alpha by Ep is equal to Q alpha square over Qp square into Mp over M alpha. But, so the charge on the alpha particle is equal to 2 times the charge on the proton because alpha particles consists of 2 protons and 4 neutrons. That is why, so Q alpha is equal to 2 Qp whole square. 2 Qp whole square means 4 Qp square or Qp square into mass of the proton but mass of the alpha particle is equal to 4 times the mass of the proton because alpha particle is nothing but helium nuclei it has 2 units of charge and 4 units of mass because it has atomic number 2 and mass number 4 and mass of the proton is nearly equal to the mass of the neutron so this 4 and 4 cancel, qp square, qp square get cancelled, mass of the proton, mass of the proton get cancelled, get the value of 1. That is, energy of the alpha particle is equal to, this is the energy of the proton, E alpha is equal to Ep, that is 3 MeV, that is given. And also, by substituting the values of the mass of the alpha particle and the proton, we get the nearly the same value in the in this expression next part deuteron we have to compare the mass of the deuteron and the proton again we know that energy is proportional to q square by m hence energy of the deuteron is equal to qd square by md and energy of the proton equals qp square by mp so, so, divide these two equations, we get Ed by Ep is equal to Qd square by Qp square into Mp by Md. But, so the charge on the deuteron is same as the charge on the proton also. But, mass of the deuteron is equal to 2 times the mass of the proton therefore we get the another expression ed is equal to mp by md into ep so qp square qp square will get cancelled here there is no two there is no two term here but mass here you can uh, replace two here to here sorry here uh, mp QD is there, QP is there, QP is there, MD is there. So this is also MD. But by substituting the value of the values of the mass of the proton and mass of the deuteron, we, we can calculate this value. This there is no two term here. This is the mass of the proton, and make a correction. This is the mass of the deuteron. This is the mass of the deuteron MD. Here there is no two term. So ED is equal to MP by MD into EP. Mass of the proton is given 1.67 into 10 power minus 27. Mass of the deuteron is this. And uh, energy of the proton is 3. So after simplification, we get the value of 1.497 MeV. Let us discuss the problem number 9. In a certain beta tron, the maximum magnetic field at orbit was 0.4 Weber per meter square operating at 50 hertz with a stable orbit diameter of 1.524 meter calculate the average energy gained per revolution and the final energy of the electron given diameter 1.524 meter 
from this diameter value we can calculate the radius r is equal to d by 2 by dividing this by 2 we get 0 0.762 meter the radius value and the frequency is 50 hertz the magnetic field b is 0 0.4 vapor per meter square we know that number of revolutions made by the electron in a beta tron is given by n is equal to c by 4 omega r where omega is equal to 2 pi f substituting the value of omega in this equation we get c n is equal to c by 8 pi f r so where c is the velocity of light 3 into 10 power 8 8 substituted the value of pi frequency and radius after simplification we get the value of number of revolutions made by the electron in a beta tron n is equal to 3.13 into 10 power 5 total energy is gained by the electron in a beta tron is given by e is equal to berc where b is the magnetic field 0 0.4 and E charge on the electron 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 radius 0 0.762 meter and C value 3 into 10 power 8 so this is in joule convert the value of joule into electron volt by dividing 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb then we will get the energy I mean total energy gained by the electron in electron volt as 91.44 MeV Next, you can calculate average value of energy per turn using this equation 4e omega r square b or e by n is equal to total energy over number of revolutions. Total energy is 91.44 into 10 power 6 eV and the number of revolutions n is 3.13 into 10 power 5. So after dividing, we get average value of energy per turn as 292.14 EV. Problem number 10. Calculate the average energy gained per revolution and the final energy gained by the electrons in a beta tron where maximum magnetic field of 0 0.5 tesla is operating at 50 hertz in a stable orbit of diameter. This is of orbit of diameter 0.8 meter. Solution. We noted that the average energy gained by the electron is given by E by N is equal to 8 pi R square BEF. So we can also calculate average energy gained by the electron from this formula. So we know that the value of E and the number of turns made by the electron and substituting the value and simplify you get 8 pi R square BEF. So substitute all the values 8 pi value r value 0 0.8 0 0.8 meter so actually this is 0.4 diameter is given 0 0.8 and radius is 0.4 sorry once again make a correction this is 0.4 into 0 0.5 that is a magnetic field and charge on the electron and frequency 50 hertz and divide by 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 and simplify by substituting the value of radius 0.4 meter and simplify you get average energy gained by the electron is equal to 401.12 EV our final energy gained by the electrons E is equal to BERC so B value is 0.5 charge 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 again replace 0 0.8 by 0 0.4 and velocity of light then only you get so the final energy as 120 MeV. Problem number 11 a beta tron of 100 MeV energy has a stable orbit of radius of 0.84 meter Calculate the value of first one magnetic intensity at the orbit for the energy and uh, second one the frequency of the applied electric field if average energy gain per turn is equal to 
420 EV. So, given final energy of the electron E is equal to 100 MeV. So, convert into Joule. 100 into 10 power 6 into 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 Joule. After simplification, 100 means 10 square into 10 power 6. 10 power 8. 10 power 8 into 10 power minus 19 becomes 10 power minus 11. So, E is equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 11 Joule. And radius 0 0.84 meter. Average energy gain per ton E by N is equal to 420 EV. Then uh, calculate the value of frequency and the magnetic field. Now the final energy is given by E is equal to BERC. From this formula, E equate for B. B is equal to E by ERC. Substitute all the values and simplify. So energy in Joule 1.6 into 10 power minus 11 charge on the electron radius of the orbit value of the velocity of light. So after simplification we get 0.4 Tesla. The average energy gained by electrons is given by E by N is equal to 8 pi R square B E F. So F equate for F. F is equal to E by N or 8 pi R square B E. Substitute all the values and simplify. We get the value of frequency as F is equal to 60 hertz. So these are the some more problems have discussed in this video. So and also have covered almost all types of the problems which are came in uh, particle accelerators. And also I have used all these books as reference to make this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you once again.